Aspen Challenge gives way for students and parents and teachers alike to come together and say, what is a problem in our community? Who are the leaders in our community now? How can you get inspired and how can we make change? It's a process to empower and engage young people to be leaders and take action now. Yeah, it means that for the first time probably in their lives, young people are going to be pulled out of their comfort zone and really challenged to take risks, learn to what it means to be a teammate with someone, to really solve a very complex and challenging problem. Uh, and come up with a solution. I think the Aspen Challenge is really about leadership. Uh, it's really going to bring out the leadership in everyone. I think I'll learn who I truly am as a leader and whether or not I can take that step forward and become the person I want to be. Through this challenge, I think I'm going to want to find myself. That's one of my main goals is to find my true passions and to find my true interests by looking at the interests and passions of others that surround me in the community. That's what's amazing about this is that you really do get the ability to go out and get your hands dirty. And I think that's something you can't get in you know, standard classroom. Well, thanks to the um, Aspen Challenge, we created Ocean LA. And I'm currently the president of Ocean LA at our school. So we're trying to like continue the movement and keep it growing. And just keep looking for what they can continue to do. Like, don't stop after the challenge. If you want to win the Aspen Challenge, you have to be very communicative. I mean, with eight different teenagers, that's a lot of personality to work with. There will be arguments, but it's really worth the effort. I think the teamwork is the bi biggest aspect that you have to take back. And, you know, you have to learn and you have to humble yourself and you just have to be creative with your ideas and be receptive and accepting of others. We have so many uh, amazing students that go to our school and who are very determined and focused and who I believe uh, could really make a difference in the world. I'm really interested to share my ideas with my teammates and you know hear some of their ideas. I think we have a really strong team and we all know how to work together and we have great leaders on our team. We really need to get out there and get kids involved and get excited about the things that we need to do. I could tell that they're ready. The, the atmosphere, the energy here is crazy and um, it makes you want to learn. They're going to learn skills that they can use for the rest of their lives. And these are, no matter where they go and what they do, these are the kind of skills they're going to need in order to uh, soar. What excites me most is uh, just the academic setting and the intelligent talk that's going on. The fact that I'm in a room with people that want to change not only their school, but their community. And that's what I'm most excited about. This is a group of dedicated students who are prepared to take on the extra work, the extra time, to make an impact in the community. And I'm just glad I can be in a room with people that want to change things for the better, not just for themselves. You don't need like a whole army just to make a difference in the world, it could just be you. It isn't necessarily about you specifically being the change in the world, it's about helping others be the change that they want to see in the world. Youth-based solutions. While we do have the future ahead of us, we also have now to lead and we have now to be great leaders even though we are young. We can still take, we still have just as much power as someone that's older to, to be great and do great things. Yeah.